Hey guys, thank you very much for joining me once again. Now, first up, I just want to apologize for not being very active recently on either Instagram or YouTube. Just been flat out with work and a few other things. Um, but uh, I've barely had a chance to watch other people's videos, let alone create my own. But um, I was clearing out my uh, the cupboard in my collection room the other day and I came across... Uh, an unboxed vehicle lurking in the cupboard so I thought I'd give you a look at that but before I get into that I just want to sort of give you an idea of what I've got coming up in terms of uh, what I've got in order and that sort of thing so I recently got an email from Super 7 saying that uh, the, the figures for the, the pre-order for the vintage wave sort of filmation figures uh, wave 2 uh, they'll be getting them very, very soon and shipping them out over the next week or two. So I'll give you a look at those as soon as they turn up. So we've got Robot He-Man, Beastman, Tealer and Men in Arms. Now I wanted to order pre-order Wave 3, but for some reason uh, Super 7 decided to double the postage uh, for Wave 3. And it was twice as much as the postage for Wave 1 and 2. So I did not go ahead with that, which was disappointing. But... Um, We'll see what happens with future waves. And then also, I've got a heap of stuff on pre-order from Dorkside Toys. They've shipped out a couple of things. With any luck, I'll receive those uh, this week. Um, so we've just got, this is a list of all my pre-orders at Dorkside. You know, this bottom one, they've already shipped, uh, delivered that. Got a couple of the uh, Tatooine Skiff Guard three packs. I ordered one of those and then I ordered the second one when I saw that they were going to be uh, individually carded on vintage cards so I can open one and keep one carded. Uh, I got a couple of the vintage collection Gamorrean Guards. I do have a, an original version carded of the Gamorrean Guard but I don't have a loose one so I'll open at least one of those, probably both, to uh, put on the barge. Then I've got a NECA Ultimate Jungle Hunter that has been shipped, that is the one of the figures that with any luck I'll be receiving next week so I'll give you a look at him uh, then I've got a couple of the Vintage Collection skiffs and with any luck they'll uh, they'll be out in I think they said July uh, then we've got the Vintage Collection Wave 5 which yeah I think it's Wave 5 a um, couple of Black Series Six inch figures, Lando Skiffguard and Princess Leia Hoth. They've been shipped as well. That's the other package that I'm expecting next week, hopefully. And then we've got Vintage Collection Wave 6. Now that's that set of four, the. I don't know if it's officially a wave or, or what, because it's the that sort of fan channel exclusive the reissue of Vader and Han and Leia and I can't remember the fourth one so yeah I've got that as well and then the Black Series Archive Wave 2 I've pre-ordered that from Dorkside because uh, it was difficult finding them out here in, down here in Australia and I think it's actually going to work out cheaper believe it or not ordering it from Dorkside and paying postage uh, than buying them in store here for 40 bucks a pop Australian and then the last one is I pre-ordered episode one Obi Wan Rebels Chopper and Rebels Ezra, so I'm looking forward to those figures as well, and I'll give you a look at those as soon as I get them. All right, finally onto the vehicle unboxing. Now I bought those of you that have been watching my videos for a while may remember some of my earlier videos. I bought a, a heap of uh, box vehicles from a collector that was selling off his collection and I unboxed most of them for some reason I, well, actually I know why I didn't unbox this because I also bought the Anakin uh, Starfighter version of this which is the same vehicle just different colors and so I think I just thought I'd just be repeating myself uh, if I unbox this but I probably will be repeating myself but it's been a while since I uh, posted that Anakin Starfighter vehicle so uh, here we go Now, I do like the packaging design of the Revenge of the Sith vehicles. I did buy four of them from this guy that was selling off his collection. Uh, the two Jedi Starfighters, 
the droid tri fighter and General Grievous and his wheel bike. And yeah, I like the way it's not vintage collection. That's my favourite packaging, but uh, I thought it, this is our Revenge of the Sith packaging was was still pretty cool. Um, bit of a struggle getting this tray out. Now I've got to say, back in the day, they really packaged these vehicles well. Unlike today, where they just generally shove them in a, a box that's twice the size of the vehicle and it's just banging around inside a half empty box. But uh, have a look at this. Look at that protective cardboard. There's a the vehicle's actually wrapped in a it's a fairly thick plastic bag. So um, that protects especially the cockpit canopy from the uh, the perspex or the clear plastic from getting scratched. So very nicely done. And in this little bag here, we've got the this is another thing they don't do these days. We've got the stickers, which I will apply later on. And then they do come with instructions these days. But there we go, telling you how to apply this. There's a heap of stickers for this one. I remember, I didn't have much fun doing the uh, the Anakin Starfighter. But uh, and then they come with uh, they used to come with a pro uh, product catalog for other vehicles. Uh, Figures and vehicles and whatever from the uh, the line. So the Grievous wheel bike. I am intrigued by that Mustafa playset. I'd like to see one of those in person. And then the more kitty stuff at the back. There's a bit of a flashback for you. All right, let's get this thing out. So there we have it, one Jedi Starfighter released from its cardboard and plastic prison, uh, complete with Astro, or part of an Astro Mac droid. As you can see there, it's basically just an insert, and for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of Obi-Wan's droid from the start of the movie that gets its head ripped off. Um, I meant to look that up before recording this, but I forgot, so please, someone remind me in the comments down below and uh, yeah I remember when I first saw the uh, Revenge of the Sith not really thinking very much of this vehicle design I thought it was too much of a, a mishmash between a part TIE fighter and part the previous version of the Jedi uh, Starfighter and I didn't really like it but it's definitely grown on me. I do actually really like it now. It's like a stocky, stubby little and I know I don't think these these uh, vehicles had shields but uh, a little uh, tough looking little Starfighter. I do like them. I probably prefer the colours of Anakin's to this one but um, I still like it. So I've got inside the cockpit that the seat looks like a it looks yellow here but uh, it's actually a gold color and then there's all the other sculpted detail around the side of the cockpit there from memory I think there are some stickers that go on need to be applied inside the cockpit and yeah, they're a bit tricky oh, unless I'm thinking of another vehicle I can't remember now um, Does have these wings that are meant to open, but for some reason mine are a little bit stuck. There's a lever at the back in between the two engines there that are meant to be able to push down and open those fins. I think they're actually meant to be radiators, radiator type things that uh, are deployed when uh, the starfighters are in combat and the engines are working their hardest, they're meant to dissipate heat, I think, from memory, I'm not 100% sure. But um, yeah, that's, that's weird. 
I don't know if I just got a dodgy one or if all of the Obi One uh, vehicles have the same issue because I don't recall having a problem with Anakin Starfighter with uh, deploying those wings. So that's a little bit weird. And very quickly, as you can see here, absolutely no problems or whatsoever with the uh, fins or wings, whatever you want to call them, deploying on Anakin Starfighter. And then here's a very quick comparison of not only the obvious differences in colour between the two vehicles, but also the weathering but differences. Uh, they, they were, for me, a little bit heavy-handed with the weathering on Obi-Wan Starfighter. I prefer the more subtle weathering on Anakin's, to be honest. But uh, yeah, they still both look pretty good. And then I nearly forgot, but this vehicle, or well, these vehicles, do come with firing projectiles, which are fired by that button I just showed you on the back there. And uh, they work effectively. I probably just lost that missile. Thank God they didn't have Nerf missiles back in the day. All right, guys, that is about it for this video. So uh, I'll just end up by saying, if you don't already have these, try and hunt them down. I think I paid something like 50 bucks each for these two vehicles. That was around 18 months ago, I think, two years. I can't remember now. Um, yeah, really, really solid, good quality vehicles. Uh, I don't want to keep banging on about how crap the modern stuff is for the most part, especially in terms of vehicles, but it's just a fact back in the day they really did make uh, good quality solid vehicles like these Jedi Starfighters pick them up alright guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give this video a like and leave comments down below and all that sort of stuff may the force be with you